The following program was underwritten by the Resource Enhancement and Protection Conservation Education Program. Dave Williams here. Today I'm going to talk about seed collecting or seed harvesting native prairie plants. So let's begin by, by just looking at, at some different phases of equipment. Uh, I'll start first with equipment that is basically what I call low-tech, uh, things that you might have uh, in your garage or things that you can easily buy at a hardware store fairly inexpensively. Uh, one thing about seed collecting is you need to have plenty of storage for the seed um, on your, if you're going out by yourself on your own person. Um, so to do that, you can just simply take some milk jugs, just cut off the front third of the milk jug, leave the handle intact, and then what I did is I just strung four or five of them on a, on a bungee cord, and then you can just wrap it, just hook the bungee cord around your waist, or in this, in this case, I just, I just hook it into my belt loops. So now you've got five individual seed compartments when you're out harvesting. You've already increased your seed storage capacity fivefold. Uh, the other thing that I like to bring out are extra sandwich baggies. Uh, you can buy these by the package of 50 for a buck and a half. Um, if you do bring sandwich baggies, I would recommend that you bring a Sharpie or a marking pen. So you could write on each of the bags what species that you're putting into that bag. Um, I like to keep my, my seed separate, so later on if I want to do any further cleaning of that seed, um, I'll, I'll be able to, to do that by individual species. Hair comb, very important. And, and as we go out in the field, I will show you just how efficient these are at collecting uh, some species of seed, in particular little blue stem. Couple of clippers. Now you might ask, why do you need clippers? Well, there's quite a few seed species uh, where you cannot get the seed, half, seed head off of the stem very easy. And as a matter of fact, there are some species where if you pull on the seed head hard enough, you'll actually pull out part of the root. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to damage um, our prairie plants. We just want to harvest the seed and uh, you know, make sure that the plant is in good shape so it can produce seed next year. Um, I like bringing two different uh, styles. I bring actually scissors. And if you do get scissors, I recommend that you get very good, high quality scissors. Don't buy cheap scissors. Um, the, the lower brand name scissors, um, I've had the handles actually break when I went to cut off a stem. And so, um, you know, get, get a good pair of scissors. Uh, also, little pruning shears. Um, there are instances where uh, the stem is, is beyond the capability of scissors, and so you need something a little more aggressive in these pruning shears. I always bring a little bit of pieces of scrap paper, and uh, um, sometimes I, I use these for when I put individual species in my buckets, I'll just write it, I'll, I'll write down the abbreviation of what I've collected in there and just throw it in the bucket. I also bring out a couple of big 30-gallon, uh, uh, I think these are 30, they might be bigger than that, garbage cans. And I like to use plastic. Um, we, we usually use Rubbermaid, not to promote a brand, but these are pretty darn durable. And, uh, you know, if you're collecting a lot of seed, um, you can easily fill one of these cans up if you get into a dense area of a certain species that you want. And uh, so what we do is uh, we'll bring, you know, five or six of these cans, we'll throw them in the back of the truck, and we'll use them as we go along. Um, we like to use these liners for the can, although it's not necessary. You can just put the seed directly in the can and then uh, stick it into a cloth receptacle or in a cardboard box later on when you get back to your house. What's nice is that you can, you can cinch the bag up like this. You can close it off. This bag's full of seed. You can put box fans on it and the air flows through it so your seed will dry out correctly. It won't get moldy. You want that seed to, to continue to dry out um, you know, if you can force air from a, a box fan onto the bag, uh, you want that seed to dry out. You don't want the, the moisture to be trapped in your bag. Um, so don't use polyester or don't use uh, uh, plastic bags or garbage bags, um, plastic garbage bags, because that'll hold the moisture in and your seed will get moldy in there fairly quickly. Let's talk about a, a modification on something that is still fairly inexpensive, but it really makes seed collecting very efficient when you're out uh, collecting native seeds. And this basically is what we call the prairie pelican. Um, Greg Houseel, uh, one of our staff members here at the Tallgrass Prairie Center, actually 
uh, came up with this design. But these are basically handheld hedge trimmers. And he took number nine fencing wire, drilled a hole, and then he ran a, ran a, a loop, and then he drilled a hole in the, in, the, uh, in the blade on this end. And then he just took some muslin, uh, some fine muslin. It's almost like screen. And uh, his wife is a handy seamstress. She, she sewed, sewed this together and, and made a bag. And so this is, uh, this is pretty efficient at collecting things like uh, mountain mints and, you know, any of, the, any of the seeds that are at the terminal end of the plant, like in a flat top cluster. Um, basically, you just go in and you just cut the top off and you, you use the wrist and twist it a little bit and the whole seed head kind of falls into this, falls into this, uh, this bag. And then once your bag fills up, you just take your garbage can with you behind you and you just dump it in. And then you can just go along, dump it in. We're, we're going to talk about the next level of seed collecting equipment. Uh, they are a little more expensive than the previous items that we talked about. Uh, the first is, is actually a cordless hedge trimmer. And again, this was designed by Greg Houseel. Uh, basically, he took a, a plastic tub and he just basically screwed it to these existing uh, bolts that hold on the hedge trimmer, the cutting head. And then um, it, it operates kind of like the Prairie Pelican, except for you just go right across and you clip. Works really good for, this works really good for flat top uh, flowering plants like stiff goldenrod and, and uh, the mountain mints and, and all those, those plants that have their flowers at the end of the at the end of the stalk and that are kind of flat. The next item we have here is a, a leaf vac, a leaf blower and a leaf vac. So you can, you can operate it as a vacuum where it actually cuts the, the breaks the leaves up, um, composts it and throws it into this bag. Or you can turn it around to where you can put an end on here and you can actually blow it for a leaf blower. Uh, we use it on the, the, the leaf vac side. And, the, and again, this is a gas operated piece of equipment. Um, probably, I can't, we've had this for a while, but I would imagine we spent between $150 and $200 for this piece of equipment. Um, what you want to do is if you want to use a leaf vac, get one that's got the highest suction that you can. Um, and this, this is pretty efficient at getting seeds really late in the season when they're really fluffy and where they're at the point where when you touch the plant, the seeds just release off into the air. And so what you could do is just agitate the top of the plant and they'll suck right in. There's an impeller in here that's made out of plastic and we have found it doesn't damage the seed. Um, you know, you would think that this would just grind the seed up and it just powderize it, but uh, it, it actually can work as a hammer mill too. It can, it can take those harder seed heads like, pale, or like a pale purple coneflower and purple prairie clover. You know, if you can get the seed heads off, um, you can actually suck this, the big seed heads intact and it'll break those heads up in, into the individual seed units. Um, this is actually a seed stripper, a portable seed stripper. This is a gas operated unit and they retrofitted this head onto it where it has these, uh, these really thick uh, poly strings like weed, weed whip strings and this rotates and what it does is it basically just agitates the seed right off of the stalk and then it falls into this bag here in the bottom. This is a gas-powered seat pull type seed stripper. It's operated by a six and a half horsepower gas motor. You can pull it with a small ATV. It's got a tongue hitch or you can pull it. We've actually pulled this with a small garden tractor. It's a very light piece of equipment. It's pretty nimble. Um, although it's, uh, if, when you take it down the road, you gotta be careful because it's kind of wide and it's offset. Uh, what it does is it has a, a poly broom in here that's circular and it spins. And what that does is it, it basically takes the, the, the seeds off the seed, off the stalk. It throws them in the back of the hopper back here. You can fill this, this hopper up and get quite a bit of seed. Um, here's, the, here's the storage compartment. There's still a little bit of seed in there. Uh, what's nice about this unit is it has, a, it has a little gate on the back where you can just lift the gate up and uh, you can put your bag around this, this wire bale. You just stick your bag in there. We've got a little hydraulic pump and you can see the, the actual head of the sweeper will, will go up and it'll go down. And this is really, really nice when you're harvesting six or seven foot tall grasses. 
Um, you can pump this up so the seed, the, the sweeper head is pretty much at the level of the seed heads up here. And uh, what happens is, is this is a great unit if you want to leave a lot of standing duff when you're done. So if you really want to get serious about harvesting prairie seed, uh, you need to get yourself a combine. And uh, this is probably our, our pride and joy of all of our seed collecting equipment. Uh, this is a mid-70s vintage Hagee combine made in Germany. It's got the original air-cooled Volkswagen engine. Um, this thing, we harvest just about everything. Grasses, wildflowers, fluffy seed, heavy seed. Uh, this is our real workhorse. It, uh, it was originally developed uh, for uh, soybeans and corn, and it's a plot combine. It's, it, was, uh, it was basically primarily used for corn and bean research. This works a little bit differently than the, uh, the seed stripper that I showed earlier. Um, this actually has a sickle bar in front, and this will, this will actually cut the vegetation off, and it works just like a combine. It goes into a concave, and it beats up the seed heads, and then there's a couple of shaker screens in there with some air, and ultimately the seed gets augged up, and you can put it into, a, again, our bags. You know, this is the finished product. The seed goes into these bags and then all the chaff and the sticks and stems get blown out the back.